Hey everyone, how's it going? I wanted to talk about this crazy year. I have to call 2020 the best year for plugins ever. There's been so many amazing releases, free and paid. It's really been mind blowing. I was gonna make a top five video with, you know, top five amp sims, top five whatever, but I couldn't rank things. So instead, I'm gonna talk generally about some of my favorites from this year. I wanted to talk about the channel going forward and give some shout outs to other channels too. First off, Amp Sims. How can I talk about Amp Sims without mentioning Vadim Tyronoff? The stuff he's released or re-released this year has all been outrageously good. This guy is one of the most dedicated plugin makers out there. The stuff he makes is just incredible to say the least. He's been doing it for a while and he just keeps going. The standout ones for me this year were Clang earlier in the year, that's a free release, and Teaser, which was released recently. Fantastic amps that I use all the time. And the work he did with the Honest Amps in Reviews Pack 2.0 is great stuff. He revamped some of his older designs with GUI updates by Luan Albani. Just great stuff and all for free. Cheers for the stuff, Vadim, you're a beast. Next, I want to talk about Audio Assault. They came out with the Grind Machine 3 demo earlier in the year, which was a really nice piece of kit, and I was looking forward to it coming out. Then they kind of went dark on it for a while, and then Reamp came out. So they rebranded Grind Machine 3 to Reamp, and it featured over 100 amps, loads of effects, loads of IRs, a flex cab section. They really, really stepped it up and I was really surprised by how great it was. I did a video on it, so go check it out. And it's so big that I might revisit it again and check out some more tones, cause it's it's pretty much endless. On top of that, they released updates for RVXX and Sigma. Sigma was a free release that came out back in spring and I think it kicked everyone's ass. The Audio Assault guys are always in touch with the community. They take suggestions and critiques. They're constantly working on updates. It's a really cool company and you get a direct line to talk to the guys and it's a small operation. Can't say enough good stuff about them. They're proper passionate dudes and they're kicking ass at the moment and they're totally giving the expensive boys a run for their money. Next guys, I'm gonna talk about Nalex. How can I talk about Amp Sims and not mention Nalex? Amazing free stuff that's been updated all the time. Hefty updates to the GUIs. Great job by Luan Obani across the board. And we got a new amp, Amplex, which if you don't know about that, go watch my video on it. It's a game changer. I've got to say my favorite from this year is probably Crunchman. It's just the perfect lead tone. I use it all the time. When I'm asked about my recommendation for free metal tone, I point them towards Vadim or Nalex. Right now, I wanted to mention some of the big surprises from this year. Linda Audio's Rock Amp, a super versatile free VST with a bunch of different stuff on it, does loads of different sounds, Fantastic. Another is Cornflower Audio's Red Current, the Fury Amp. Again, just a big surprise, nicely featured, and really surprising that they're giving it away for free. So guys, with Amp Sims, it's the main thing I'm drawn to. It's what I do most on the channel, is try this stuff out. It's been a super generous year from all of these companies, and I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Right, I have to mention IR packs. All the stuff that's come out from Devil's Lab this year, fantastic. As well as Sea Cow Cabs, Brian has been killing it this year. The Mr. Shell pack that he released with Audio Assault is my go-to Marshall Cab IR pack. It's amazing. Also the stuff from Sonic DNA, really nice. And the free stuff from Wilkinson Audio, that was one of the biggest surprises this year. A really, really good Mesa 4x12. And the 2x12 cab they do is amazing too. I might do a video on that soon. And the Aeris Effects pack too. The free pack they released earlier this year would really kicked my ass. That was a really good pack. If you guys haven't really experimented with IRs yet, you haven't gone down that rabbit hole, it could be confusing and you could probably waste a lot of money on shit that you thought would sound good but actually sounds rubbish but I highly recommend it to find a unique tone, to find what you're after. If you're like me, you can load an IR and you know, you're told it's the best thing in the world and it probably sucks with your setup. So I suggest go down the rabbit hole and find something unique to you. Drums, there's been some great drum libraries released this year as well. I really like the SSD 5.5 Free, a really great all-rounder. It can be quite aggressive if you process it right. And I really like the Riff Bro drum kit by Panda Sound. Actually, I've used that in quite a few demos. I really like it. And a big thing for me this year is I started using Panda Sound one-shot samples. 
I started using the Roots kick to blend in with my Perfect Drums kick drum. And from Three Sigma, I got their Radar snare, which is a sonar snare that I blend in with Perfect Drums as well. And a big shout out to Ron from Ugratone. The Cult Drums 2 updates have been great. The Thrash Metal and the Texas Metal IR packs. Really good sounding stuff and I really enjoyed using them this year. I highly recommend them. So I've reviewed a bunch of plugins and effects as well. The big standout for me, and it's now a mainstay on my master track, is Mojo by Air Windows. It's something that I use all the time now and it's taking my mixes from about 90% where I want them to about 99%. I can't say enough good stuff about this plugin. If you don't know about it, go check out my video on it. Gotta mention some of the cool effects I've tried this year. The free Supermassive from Valhalla, just an outstanding free release. You can get some crazy delay and reverb sounds. And Baby Audio's Baby Come Back, an amazing free delay. So across the board for plugins, IRs, drum libraries, it's all been a standout year for anyone who records at any level. Right now guys, I'm just gonna bang on about me. I started this channel to promote the music I was making. I was finding ways to get heard, and we all know how hard it is to get any kind of recognition for anything we create. I'd watch bigger guys on YouTube make demos, and I thought to myself, I could do that. I could probably do that better. <laughs> well, you know, better than some. So I started posting gear demos of things I had, guitars, pedals, etc. And then I got bit by the amp sim bug and the plugin bug. And I wanted to share everything I was doing, everything I was learning. At first with the channel, I just started uploading whatever, whenever with no real aim, but then sometime in 2019, I just said to myself, fuck it, do a regular weekly video and see if I can get to a thousand subs. Not for the monetization, not for the clout, but just to see if I could do it, like a personal goal, I guess. And just over a year later, in April 2020 this year, I did it. I reached that fabled number that everybody wants to get to. And since then I've just carried on and it's been great. The main thing for me is to chat to all you guys, answer questions and get a sense of the community as a whole, checking out your projects. It's not just about making the videos, putting them out and trying to get praise and view count. The process of being creative is what I enjoy and I know it's what you guys enjoy. Going forward from here, I've got no real goal or aim I'm not putting a number on anything, and I honestly just want to make videos that I want to make. No forced, contrived stuff, just demos and tutorials that I want to share with you guys. At the end of the day, this is just a hobby, and it's all about fun. If it's not fun, I'm not going to do it. Now guys, I want to recommend some channels. If you haven't seen anything from these guys, I highly recommend giving them a watch. Firstly, Silent Scream Studios. Geo is putting out some great videos lately. He mostly does demos on amp sims and plugins, focusing on mixing, and he's got real passion for what he does. And it's great to hear his mixes get better and better and better through the year. He's a no bullshit talker who's fearless with his opinions. And he's got a few videos which have been the funniest of this year by far. He also heads up VST Plugins World Facebook group, which I'm part of. And if you like all this stuff, if you've got videos to share, if you just want to chat about gear, whatever, I suggest joining because it's a lot of fun. Another great channel is Johan Lund. This guy makes straight up my favorite amp sim demo tunes on YouTube, full stop. Great mixes, great riffs, amazing player, streamlined approach, what's not to like? Go check him out, guys. Another channel who's putting out solid stuff is Martin John Music. Again, great mixes, great demos. His music is more alternative, but still heavy. Simple, insightful, clear videos. Go have a watch, guys. Another is Mr. Nerve Damage. We worked on a collab a few months back. He's purely an artist and songwriter. Great tunes, great dude, putting out some killer music. Go over listen to the song we worked on, We The People, on his channel. Cheers, guys. Another is Arav Krishnan. Again, great dude, putting out some great videos. Brian Bauer's channel. He gave me a shout out on his Sigma video the other day. So here's a shout out to you, dude. Thanks. Wrath Victory, me old Aussie mate. We've done a few collabs this year, one of which we're still working on and should be out next year. Go check out our Pantera cover on his channel. That was a blast to make. There are loads of other great channels channels and creators out there. I couldn't possibly shout everyone out. So that's my roundup of 2020, guys. I want to thank everyone who's watched, commented, liked, subscribed, shared my stuff. I really honestly appreciate all of it. Huge thanks to my family and friends who I subject my music to endlessly. You're all great. And there's more videos on the way.
All right, guys, since you've made it this far, I just want to plug some of my stuff. I've got an album out called Bear the Mark. It's 11 tracks of pure metal fury. Click the link below to check it out, listen to it for free, and buy it if you want it. And if you want to hear some really heavy shit, go check out my side project, Nest of Scum. That album is completely free. Go download it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more metal-related stuff. I'll be back sometime with a video on something else. So until then, ciao.